starting to really look like a, a, a hospital and I can't wait to start to see it um, furnished and um, we're just that, that much bigger step closer to it um, becoming real. Even just imagining what it would be like to be a patient in some of these areas, I think that's really exciting and um, it's been interesting to see that evolution through the last few visits that we've done. You know, having the pneumatic tube located um, in close proximity just saves staff time. It's, you know, a quick, easy access. Um, so, you know, a lot of those little things um, do make a big difference for staff, both the, you know, how they function in the, in the course of their day, but, um, but also being able to get back to women and providing the care that they want. Especially, you know, the big rooms in birth suite with the lovely bar. So many more single rooms in the maternity unit. Yeah, I think that's going to be something they'll really appreciate in terms of looking after our women in a, you know, more private space and in a really kind of, you know, reflecting that sensitive care that we give them. So I think the space is, you know, going to give them that um, inspiration to help, you know, providing that sensitive and appropriate care for people. Um, just a really refreshing space um, and that, um, that, our, that our women are going to love. It feels really exciting, you know, I think this has been a, a long-awaited birth of a baby and um, yeah, so to, to think that we're um, so much closer to, to moving over here, it does, it comes with, you know, um, all of those expectations of, of something very different, um, something new, um, lots of changes, but that change is really exciting and really well anticipated, so yeah. I think the new hospital is going to provide a great physical space but also provide lots of inspiration opportunities for expanding our service and, um, you know, linking that with the community's expectations of, you know, how maintenance hospitals should be for the future.